Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to doing a November favourites for you all. I'm not even going to begin to start to talk about how fast this year has gone. I'm just going to get straight into the favourites because it's going to take a while because I have a lot of favourites this month. So I seriously don't even know where to start so I guess I'll just talk about my favourite foundation. This is the EX1 Invisibear Foundation. I have the shades F200, F300 and F100 is somewhere somewhere but I love this foundation it's so so good it's nice it's lightweight but it gives good coverage and yeah I just like it so I have been reaching for another foundation as well this is the Laura Mercier silk cream foundation I now I now own two shades I own the shade soft ivory and the shade medium ivory <laughs> look what happened to my medium ivory like this thing just fell off and now like it does close and stuff but like the weird little thing it flew off and I have no idea where it went so mm. but I just like it it's a really really nice foundation that looks like your skin um, a first impression should be of, of this sometime soonish so because the two foundations that I mentioned just before they don't actually contain any SPF I have been enjoying using a UV base the one that I've been liking at the moment is the La Roche Posay and Thelios XL liquid with SPF 50 plus which is amazing super super high SPF absolutely adore it it's nice and thin and liquidy but it is very very nice on the skin I'm sorry that this favorite is a little bit all over the place but I just have so many favorites and I don't know where to start the mascara that I've been loving for the month and for a little bit longer actually has actually been the L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara mm. Such a teeny tiny wand, but it's all that I have on my eyes today. I don't have fake lashes. I don't have two types of mascaras. It's just this mascara laid on. Um, no joke. It's so, so, so good. It's just the wand is a little bit inconvenient because it only has um, four rows of spikes. So it is a little bit harder to get my lower lashes, but if you are willing to spend the time on it, they look amazing and there is amazing, amazing results from it. Um, I have mine in shade Carbon Black if I didn't say that before. For eyeliner, I've been loving the Rimmel Scandalized Cole Pajal Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Taupe. I love this line of eyeliner pencils in general if you're looking for a good drugstore eyeliner. But I've just been liking Taupe because it's not too dark, but it's not too light, so it's perfect for every day when I want to just smudge it along my lash line just to give my eye a bit more shape. Because I do have quite thin lower eyelashes, so I do need something to kind of structure my eye a little bit more. For eyebrows, I've been loving the Maybelline Brow Drum in the shade Dark Brown. I do think it is a very, very nice brow gel. Nothing like Benefit Gimme Brow. They're completely different products, but it is a very, very nice tinted brow gel. The color's not red. It does give a good color for what it does. And yeah, I just like it. Super affordable as well. And then I also picked up... I also picked up... What? No, I didn't. I've had it for ages. I also have been loving the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I do think dark brown is a bit too dark, um, so I'll definitely pick up medium brown and my nose is itchy. So Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, I've been loving this. I have mine in the shade dark brown, so I only use it on the outer parts of my eyebrows. Just to kind of do an ombre eyebrow, I really, really like that. How it's lighter on the inside, darker on the outside. But yeah, I've been loving this product for that. It's been really, really, really good. Concealer. The concealer that I've been reaching for so, so much has been the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have three shades. I have Chantilly, Vanilla, and Custard. And I just rotate between the three depending on what I need it for. And I just think they're really, really, really good concealers. If you're looking for a good concealer, definitely give this one a try. I'm going to talk about a pair of tweezers um, because... I just like them. I do think they're worth the money. These tweezers are by Tweezerman or Tweezerman. I don't know how you say it, but these are the slanted ones. I also have the pointy top ones as well, like that. And I do believe these are supposed to be forever sharp. And if they do go blunt, then you can um, send them in to be sharpened, I think. But anyway, I love these. I've never actually bought tweezers before. Like I've owned tweezers, but they've always come with gift with purchase, or they would, or like my mum would buy them, but I've never bought a pair of my own. But I've been hearing so many good things about Tweezerman that I was like, you know what? I'm going to try Tweezerman. I want to try it. And no joke, this is worth every single cent. They are so, so, so good. They are so sharp. You just go, uh, and it's done. Like, it's just so quick. For the time that I've saved, it's justified the cost for me. Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I mentioned a few Too Faced... Toothpaste, what? 
Too Faced palettes in the past and this palette is no exception. I adore this. Too Faced shadows are beautiful, 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 beautiful. If you want good quality eyeshadows, Too Faced is probably one of the brands that I would recommend. They're decently priced and they're good quality. I like this palette more than the Boudoir Eyes for the fact that it is more on the warm side and also for the fact that it does have a nicer distribution of matte to shimmer colors. So I use these three larger shades every single day for work. So Brow Bone is a matte cream color. Lid is a nice champagne pink color. And then in the crease is a matte light brown. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect for me. And then if, it, if I do want to go out or I want a little bit more of a dramatic look, I kind of incorporate some of these darker shades over here. But overall, faultless palette. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love the packaging as well. It's great. I would recommend it if you're wanting a more neutral eye palette, but you weren't wanting something as big as the Chocolate Bar palette. Another eyeshadow, and it's just an eyeshadow in particular, it's not the whole palette, is the shade Bar Lust by Urban Decay. This shade is absolutely stunning. This is the Urban Decay Smoke palette. The shade is Bar Lust. It's this one here. I'll swatch it for you. The color is just so, so beautiful. It's like a um, shimmery, well, not really shimmery. It's just like a beautiful bronzy color. Perfect for the summertime. It looks amazing. And yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful color and super, super pigmented as well. And I love it just because it makes my eyes pop. I only have it on my lower lashes today. Even though it is a shimmery color, when you put it on your, like, on your face, it's not overly shimmy. Shimmy? <laughs> it's not overly shimmery or metallic. It is just a nice balance. And it does still have a little bit of sparkle, but it's not like boom glitter. It's just a very, very nice finely milled metallic but not too metallic if that even makes any sense at all you need to see it like it's not glittery but it is shimmery no it's not shimmery but it's reflective i hope that made sense because i don't even know what i just said i've been loving the shiseido bronzer in the shade 02 medium natural and this is just their bronzer i guess looks like this it's just a great everyday bronzer super super soft as well you can see that it looks super light compared to that eyeshadow, but I promise it isn't. Ooh. Yeah, it's just a really, really nice, beautiful bronze color for when I am tanned. I've been loving it, loving it, loving it. For highlighter, you guys know I love highlighter. I've been loving the Laura Mercier Highlight in the shade 01. I don't know if I've talked to you about it before, but it's basically just a domed highlighter. It's absolutely stunning, if I can swatch it. It's just the bottom one. It's absolutely stunning. It's a part of their matte radiance powders, but this is in no way matte. It is just a very, very, very beautiful highlight. It's not chunky. It's very, very fine, and it's very, very beautiful. So I would definitely recommend that. It is a very, very good investment in my opinion. Okay, so Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette. This one I definitely like more than the one, purely because I do like this array of colors better. So I like how the, the darkest color in the palette isn't black. It is an off gray, which I appreciate. And then there is a nice variation of um, all, all kinds of browns, I guess. Like, it's not just all warm browns or cool browns. It is a it's a very, very different array of browns. And then also you have one shimmery color, which is more of a satin, which is called Skimp. Skimp is very, very beautiful, and I think Urban Decay may have reformulated their eyeshadows because they are so beautiful now. Like, they were okay before, but they're definitely more beautiful now. Okay, this is the AC On Tour or AC Heart Me Cream Metallic Eyeshadow Finish in the shade Bronze Once or Bronzance. I don't know how to say it, but it's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. You can get your hands on it. Definitely get it because it is amazing. My everyday lip combo, well, kind of, if I want full lips, this is my combo, and I do try and do it, well, I do like to do it at least once a day because it's so pretty. So it consists of three products, a lip liner, this is by Too Faced in the shade, I think it's Spiced, Perfect Spice, it's just a nice dark nude shade, really, really beautiful, really, really beautiful. I think these are probably the best lip liners that I've tried thus far, so, so good, I love them. 
and then I'll go over, like I'll line my whole lips with that. And then I'll go over it with the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Anita. This is beautiful. And then lastly, I'll go over the center of my lip with the Too Faced Le Creme Lipstick in the shade Naked Dolly. And I'll just put it in the middle. And no joke, my lips look so full and luscious and just, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I love it. It's just an amazing combo. And overall, I've just been loving the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I think they're really, really good. And yeah, I think that's all my favorites, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, one more thing. One very last thing. This is not sponsored. I just want to put it out there. These are the vitamins that I've been taking recently. These are the Nature's Way Multivitamin Vita Gummies for adults. I have mine in the Good Health and Wellbeing. And basically, these are just lollies and they've got vitamins in them. They're so good. <laughs> so good. I don't like taking tablets, so having a gummy alternative is amazing. But yeah, so that's all my favorites for the month of November. I hope your month treated you very well as well. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely comment some products that you've been loving down below also. And I will see you next time. Bye.